Hello Cancers, how you all doing? Um, Cancers, I pulled out your um, cards already, okay, because the camera stopped again. I'm doing a monthly read, okay, for 2020. This may or may not resonate, okay, just because our actions determine the outcome and also timing is just an estimate. Things can happen at any point, right? So I'm going to be doing your reading as such. Week one, week two, week three, week four, okay? Um, now, I'm only going to keep this very brief because once we get into May, I'm going to be starting to do, obviously, your weeklies. We're going to be doing your um, dailies and weekends, okay? That's when we get into more information on that. Um, that's when we get into more information in that. Okay. So, let's see what's going on, guys. If the camera's lighting does tend to change a little bit, okay, it's probably because the, the sunlight from the window is coming straight through okay and it's it's kind of going like light and dark okay um guys so with the destiny card okay that i pulled out um i feel like this is about finding abundance in your higher self okay within yourself first and it's only when we can find abundance within ourselves okay and the happiness within ourselves we can also send out that same energy and receive that same energy as well so i feel like this is really about knowing um where you're going in life basically okay where you're heading so we've got the emperor in reverse okay so you could be dealing with an aries not necessary but somebody who may be um older in age okay so you and this person may have an age difference you could be this age emperor in reverse is uh someone <laughs> right cancers you could be dealing with someone okay who is um uh, in the month of may who is quite toxic in their nature okay this person can be quite dominating excessively controlling um this person can be someone who is um likes to have their foot on someone's chest right mm. let's uh, go into week three and see what's going on angel guys what do we have for cancers in week three uh let's see i hadn't even started and these cards started falling out so i feel like my guides are gonna um definitely try sending through some messages here for you guys um, i'm gonna try to bring out the best situation out of this but um if it is it is what it is okay so you've got aries you've got capricorn you've got virgo let's see what we got for the last week got loads of major arcana so i feel like things are really rolling out for you guys in may whether this is in a, a good way or a bad way um i feel like things are really rolling out for you guys okay we've got um the three of cups okay <clears throat> and then at the bottom of the deck we have the sun in reverse okay sun in reverse is talking about um a broken relationship unhappiness okay things are not looking very good perhaps you're not looking at the bright side of the situation okay or this person is not letting you have your fun again there's a i'm gonna put my foot on your chest kind of energy coming through there okay so let's see what's going on okay um for this emperor because um this emperor here is a very unstable person but he could also be immature for an older person he could be dealing with somebody who's um he's a bit of a manipulator let's see what's going on I feel like this, no, not a manipulator. I think the right word to say is blackmail, okay? This guy could, or woman, can blackmail someone for their own needs, okay? So we've got the Nine of Pentacles and Three of Cups. And like I said, for their own needs, okay? So you've got the Nine of Pentacles and Three of Cups for their own needs, clearly. Um, this person is, is a very independent person. Don't like to be told what to do. Will not be told what to do okay they could be overindulging as well so there could be addictions as well such as like drinking a lot um partying a lot socializing a lot okay um other people too with a magician got a lot of virgo energy here um we've got the two of pentacles in reverse this person is really like a manipulative person they like to keep situation really imbalanced so it's kind of like um I feel like this person takes control of the situation to the extensive amount, okay, where you start to feel cancer, um, you know, that you're being juggled 
or that constantly things in your life in particular are upside down okay and this person's got their own shit straight you know what i mean this could be as well for cross watchers um so take or leave how it resonates okay i'm just reading the messages here that are coming through also this is also telling me okay as an advice um cancer that this is about you needed to really stand up for yourself easier hard easier said than done i totally understand but with the nine of pentacles here with the three of cups it's also saying here that you need to get out okay of your comfort zone you need to start making friends you need to start socializing or find somebody out there who can actually help you stand up for what you believe in because this is about you reaching your higher self okay knowing where the boundaries stop okay and you need to kind of manifest to get out of this um imbalanced situation here okay so somehow you're trying to manifest it but things are still a bit in you know imbalanced i'm going to pull out some advice cards for you guys towards the end let's kind of find this devil why is this devil here please angel guides okay um a, a little download just came through just now okay um the word that came through um spirit was giving me a word and the word that came through when i looked at this devil card is that we are one okay um so i really do feel like yeah this person has maybe this mindset fixed on that they have full control on you because it's like almost like a bondage like okay the word that just came up is you are my pet okay oh okay wow um you are my pet what the hell <laughs> cancer if you're dealing with something like this okay um you are no one's pet by any means understand you are no one's pet and no one is anybody's pet okay um to be put on a lead like that and to say we are one you are my pet wow okay that is not good no um you need to really start to you know i feel to some extent you left it to destiny as well okay there is abundance in despair but then there's also a way you can find you know there's a way you can find things okay out um instead of despairing over something that's lost try to figure out a way of how to refine that that particular thing that you've lost okay and i feel like this is about your higher self you may have lost your higher self in a way uh three of wands okay so um somebody here really has influence over you cancer or you have influence over somebody else i feel like the person that's got the influence okay of someone is this same person here which is the queen of swords this person has a lot of toxic triads queen of swords here in reverse and um, mind you all these were upright okay but the queen of swords here in reverse is somebody who is a bit of a gossiper she's unreliable she's cold-hearted and she really knows how to um her tongue is like a scissor that can cut through someone okay and i feel like this is the same energy here you could be dealing with somebody else but now nah, there's the devil again um five ones very conflicted energy i feel like this is a very scattered energy whoever's dealing with something like this you really need to come out of this okay um because i also feel that as um as an advice like i said you need to find somebody here who can help you or advise you get out of your comfort zone okay um and um even if you have to get cold towards this person because sometimes you have to be cool right to um to make a person realize uh, especially a person like this in this situation so i feel like you may have to but you're really conflicted okay and you need to come out of that conflicted energy here let's let's move on to the hermit because the hermit here is talking about completely isolating yourself feeling lonely okay or withdrawing yourself from a situation but this could also be the same person's energy here um somebody who is immature somebody who's not going to listen even if you try to speak to this person so we could go two ways with this energy here okay let's see what's going on with the hermit wow okay got the knight of pentacles so you've kind of stopped okay 
you stopped because things are becoming too much now. You're trying to find a way through for your own happiness. You want to take your feelings, okay? You want to you wanna express your feelings. You want to talk about how you feel, okay? But I feel that it's also about you trying to figure out what makes you happy, okay? It's about what makes you happy. This is about how you feel within yourself. And right now, you may not be feeling like that, but I can see here with the Nine of Cups, your, your emotions are really burdened right now, okay? Might not be clear to you at this precise moment. Eight of Cups, yeah. I feel like, you know, you may walk away from this situation. Um, which is good, right? Because sometimes you have to walk away from a toxic situation. And as hard as that is, there will be challenges, there will be obstacles. But if you're in an unhealthy relationship, you're spiritually draining yourself. And this person has a shit that they need to sort out. they got a lot of shit they need to sort out here, okay? Uh, and don't come hating on me, cross watchers, okay? Because um, I could be picking up on a particular person's energy or a collective amount of energy. I'm just reading the messages as they're coming to me and Spirit is giving me messages coming through. So no hate, please, okay? If you don't like it, you can always go to another video. There's plenty more great channels out there. Let's clarify the Three of Cups. So, so basically, you are thinking perhaps of a soulmate connection or having a reunion with the soulmate connection, okay? Um, perhaps you know this person for a long time, you just couldn't be with them. Um, I don't think it's this person. But I also feel here with the lover's card that you are going to start socialising more. Okay, because we've got three of cups here more. Uh, twice, okay. But I feel like this person is doing it for all the wrong reasons. But as an advice card, like I said, to me this is kind of showing that you need to get out there. All right. You need to separate yourself from this person. Okay, um, and with the Seven of Pentacles, you need to invest your time, okay, um, in, in basically, uh, you need to invest your time, okay, in getting out there, socializing with people, okay, and separating yourself from this energy which is serving you nothing, okay. Intuitively, you know that you need to do this, okay, but there's also that fear that if I take a step, um things are going to turn out very disastrous okay i don't know whose energy this is i don't know what's going on eight of swords yeah somebody here feels like they're going to be really like trapped if they take a step out like physically trapped is the energy i'm getting here with this person um you could have kids with this person or the person has kids Okay, um, the energy I'm picking up is physical trapped, like physically trapped. So not even emotionally trapped or, um, you know, by, by thoughts even. I feel like this person's going to be physically trapped. That's their fear, okay, that if they step out, um, out of that boundary that this person has kind of put them into that this person's going to be physically trapped and then i did have that download come through here from spirit saying you know my pet um i hope this is not an abusive um physical relationship um but somebody here is definitely going through that i'm going to put this down to intuitive reading okay um this is an intuitive reading okay Because I, I personally don't like this energy. I feel like somebody here needs help. Somebody here needs help. Yeah, somebody needs help to break free from this, um, this energy. Let's see what advice cards we can grab for this person. Whoever this is. Or if this is for a collective amount of um, Cancerians. 
wow i've never had a reading like this before that's crazy let's see um angel guides what advice can we give to this person or the collective amount of scorpions who are going through this please what advice do we have for cancerians who are going through this or who are dealing with this toxicity so may is um not looking too good for a collective amount of cancerians but it's also um giving you an advice as well at the same time of what to do so that's a good thing um i do also feel here that this is not going to resonate with every single cancerians i'm putting this out there now okay um so let's see what's going on all right you need to stop putting effort okay and you need to stop complying with this person all right whoever this is uh, you need to stop complying with this person okay because every time you comply with this person every time you work with this person or do whatever this person says you're feeding them you're feeding them this energy this toxicity okay you're feeding that okay and i feel that you um the minute you stop doing this you're going to get that emotional breakthrough that you need okay this is also talking see here this is also talking about moving away from this unstable connection you need to whether you do this in a stealthy way in a sly way whether you have to lie to get out of this situation you need to walk away from this situation because it's going to serve you no good the only thing that's going to happen is when a house is burning have you ever seen anyone stay in a house that's burning without calling a fire brigade okay or you know you would not stay in a house that is burning okay to the ground you would run you would find any exit you can find to leave that house okay but the longer you stay in that house okay or in that tower all right you are going to burn okay you're gonna fall you're gonna burn okay and that is the energy here that the the guides are trying to tell you okay whoever needs this message that is what the guides are trying to tell you here okay that you need to take your shit and get out okay you need to get out okay because this ain't no home where there is a lack of collaboration a lot of lack of teamwork going on here between you and this person you need to stop giving in to this person okay because this person is ignorant simple as yeah look at this you know i feel like this person is a really deceptive person is an emotionally immature person you know this person as long as you stay with them you're sh it's, it's never going to get better okay it's never going to get better okay there's always going to be some kind of karmic injustice happening like again again there it is you see you need to come out of this um working on it kind of um situations if you're trying to work on this or this person is like i will change i will change um no this person is not going to change clearly the universe is telling you this this person is not going to change okay let them change in their own time it's not your problem you are not somebody's pet okay right cancers i hope this resonated if it didn't which probably i'm sure it's not going to resonate with everyone so don't don't hate on it okay because somebody really needed to hear this um but you know if it did resonate leave me a thumbs up um and let's get some thumbs up for whoever is suffering in this okay because i think right now they need the most support so you know every every likes um will count right now and will encourage this person um also don't forget to share because it might be somebody that it's resonating with that you may know also don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new um if you're returning welcome oh wow that energy has kind of just got me down a bit <laughs> oh gosh okay um and uh don't forget to yeah subscribe and uh, stay safe stay home with me on youtube for mindfulness meditation and of course tarot we'll start to incorporate more stuff soon okay as well so take care guys everyone i love you bye